Welcome to the photoelectric effect laboratory exercise. In this laboratory exercise, you're going to be making use of the photoelectric effect to come up with a measurement of Planck's constant. So you're going to be dealing with some equipment in a little black box, but let's have a talk about what's inside the box and how it works. You're going to have a light source, which is producing photons, which travel from the light towards the black box containing a cathode, which is covered in metal, and an anode. If the photons have enough energy when they hit the metal on the cathode here, it's going to cause an electron to be released, and the electron will travel towards the anode and generate a photocurrent there, which will be detected by the voltmeters and ammeters and things within the little black box. So the theory you need to know to understand this is first of all the energy that a photon has is given by E is equal to HF where H is Planck's constant and F is the frequency. When the photon hits the metal here, it can cause an electron to be released. So there's our electron travelling towards the anode. The maximum kinetic energy that electron can have Ke max is equal to the energy it gets from the photon, Hf, minus phi, which is the work function. So that's how much energy you need to release an electron from the metal. So this is the maximum kinetic energy of the electron here. What you're going to be doing during this exercise is applying a voltage difference between the anode and the cathode. And to overcome this voltage difference, the electron is going to need a certain amount of energy. And as you increase that voltage difference, the energy is going to be more and more. And when you need more than this maximum kinetic energy to overcome that voltage difference, then you're going to not get a photocurrent anymore. So you're going to be making measurements of the photocurrent and observing when the photocurrent stops for different frequencies of light. And so the energy difference between the anode and the cathode with a backing voltage supplied is given by EV. This is the energy difference that this electron needs to travel from here to here. And so when that is equal to Ke max, which is HF minus phi, that is when you're going to cease getting your photocurrent. So let's have a quick look at the equipment now. So this is the equipment that you're going to be using for this experiment. The power supply is to power the light. So you'll be using the AC power and you can adjust the intensity by adjusting the voltage here. So the light just slips into the back of the photoelectric box. When the light is turned on, you should make sure that one of these filters is between the light and the photoelectric box because the light is quite intense and over time this does damage the cathode. So in the first part of the experiment, you're going to be using these apertures to vary the number of photons that are travelling from the light into the and hitting the cathode inside this photoelectric box. So you'll be placing these between the light and the photoelectric box. In the next part of the experiment, you'll be changing the different coloured filters so that you're changing the frequency of the light which is reaching the photoelectric box. Throughout this experiment, you're going to, you should have this switch here set to experiment 1A to E. This box allows you to adjust that backing voltage and measure the photocurrent so that you can observe when the photocurrent first drops to zero and make a recording of that backing voltage. I hope that you get an accurate value for Planck's constant and that this experiment teaches you a lot about the photoelectric effect and properties of light.